What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install agency callouts into your Grand Theft Auto 5 LSPDFR. Now if you guys have not already, please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on all notifications. So here we go guys. So what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to click the link down in, the, in, down in the description. And it will bring you to this page right here. Now in order to download anything from this website, you guys have to have an account which takes about maybe, I don't know, two minutes to create an account. Really easy. And once you guys are creating an account, you'll go back to the link down in the description and click on agency callouts. And you're going to find this down here. Now you can actually be a paramedic with this callout pack. So guys, what you guys are going to do is you're going to click download this file. And you're going to agree and download. And you're going to do agency callouts 4.1 and download. Your download begins in one second. Alright guys, so here it is coming up down at the bottom. You guys are going to click open. When it is done, I'm going to cancel it because, again, I already have it. So you can go ahead and close out of your Google or Internet Explorer, whatever you guys have done. Now you guys are going to pull up your WinRAR here. Right here. And it will come up looking just like this. And you're going to double click Agency Callouts. And you can do the README. Now you guys do need Rage Plugin Hook, LSPDFR. Rage Native UI and the Dark Common. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that because I'm definitely gonna embarrass myself. <laughs> but the Rage Native UI is is included, and so is the Dark Common. Installation. Simply copy the contents of the files files folder into your root GTA directory, which means your GTA 5 main directory. Agency calls will be activated when you go on duty. Do not attempt to load it from the Rage console. Alright, so you can go ahead and close out of that. You guys are going to double click files. And here you guys go, right here. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to navigate to your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. And you're going to take all of these. And you are going to actually yes you're gonna hold on give me one second I already have them installed so one moment here alright so you guys are gonna highlight all of these here now you're gonna drag them and drop them into your main directory and one two three and drop I'm going to cancel it because I already have it now you guys can go ahead and cancel X out of your WinRAR and go up to the top of your main directory and refresh and let's see you guys have to go to plugins the dark mire excuse me guys I'm not really used to doing this uh... okay so you guys are going to go to lspdfr alright guys sorry about that so what you guys are going to do is if you are on your main directory, you're going to go to Plugins, LSPDFR, and here is all of your plugins here. So you guys are going to go to the one for the INI file, that is the agency callouts, and you're going to double click. And here are your settings. So go down here to your keys. Alright. So, 
You guys can have it set up whatever way you guys have it. I have mine for the menu. I have mine control N. But I'm actually going to do shift N. Actually. No, excuse me guys. You guys are going to keep it with your control key. But I didn't mine N. So to open it, you guys are going to have to do control N. Now, you could change it to whatever you guys want, but this is how I have it. Interaction is Y, action is T, CPR is U, and the menu key is Control N. If you guys did do anything to it, go to File and click Save. And you go ahead and exit out of that. If you guys did anything to it, make sure to go back to your main directory and refresh. And I will see you guys in game. Alright guys, so once you guys are in game in your LSPDFR, what you guys are going to do is you're going to either get a paramedic suit on, which I will show you guys how to do that if you guys have EPU, or you can do control, uh, actually excuse me, you're going to go to F4 and type in force duty, F-O-R-C-E, and tab and enter. Give it a second here. And there we go. So, they have been loaded. Now, I'm going to wait a second for all of my, my things over here to go away. On the left hand corner, all the menus and different things that I've loaded in. Just give it a few seconds. You guys might have this. You might guys have to wait in order to see the menu if you guys have all this stuff over here. But I'm just going to spawn an ambulance here because we're going to be a paramedic. So spawn, tab, ambulance. And go up to the top here. And tab and enter. Alright guys. So everything is loaded successfully. So if you guys have did what I have done, you're going to do control N, control N on your keyboard, and you guys can see agency callouts. Now what you guys are going to do to be a paramedic, well first if you guys have police you got air unit and a taxi, and callout type, you got police and paramedic. Now if you want police callouts you hit enter, and you are now receiving police callouts. But if you want paramedic, you open up your menu again and you do paramedic and hit enter. Now you're receiving paramedic callouts. Now you guys can request a call. Next you get you can go ahead and get loadout. Which I'm honestly not quite sure what that does, but <laughs> now you can request a call, active shooter, and you got all these different burn victim, civilian shot. You guys can do any of these. And then you can end your current call out. Alright, so to get a paramedic suit, what you guys are going to do is if you guys have EUP, you're going to hit F11 or whatever key you guys have made it. And you're going to go down to serve and rescue. And go to LSFD and go down to, you can either pick from the EMT class B, which is long sleeve. Dispatch to any available central unit. We have in, uh, Or an EMT class C, which is short sleeve. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and you exit out of that. And you are available for calls. Adam 4, copy. You can go ahead and get in your ambulance here. Start it up. And just patrol. Oh, it's just music for you guys here. Oops. You're gonna hear that breathing, that's my... Area. We have a pedestrian struck by a vehicle on, um... There we go. Spanish Avenue. Please radio. Oops. Should I turn that off? Copy. 
Copy that. We're moving right, right now. So now you guys can patrol in your ambulance until you get a call. Yeah, let's just do one thing to make sure we are available. Show me available. 10-4, copy that. 8, Adam, 11. Whoa, jeez -ums. Any unit in the Vineward area? We have a civilian, civilian shot, shot in Alpha. Copy that, dispatch. Show me in route. We'll find those animals. Show me en route. Do a little preview for you guys here. Now, link to the website where I got this from will be in the description. Why does it do that? It's just a random pursuit going on. I've noticed some other people have had the same problem with that. Alright, so... Over there. Make a U-turn here. Turn off our siren here. And we're gonna get out. Go to the back of the building. Alright, so they are upstairs here. Alright, here they are. Alright, so you're gonna press Y to assess their injuries like it came up. Now, yes, that is obviously a little unrealistic because they go to the wall, but hey, it's the first paramedic call out you guys can get, so. All right. Uh, hey, sir. All right, sir. Why don't you follow me, please? What's with all these slippy conditions? I know this obviously hey, is unrealistic. Hey, you would put them on a stretcher and carry them, but this is GTA Five. Uh, you coming, sir? Alright, sir, go ahead and get in for me. Again, this is not a perfect call out, but it works. I'm tired of moving refrigerator sized amps. I throw my back out. Well, why'd you. Why are you moving refrigerator sized amps? Oops. Wrong button. Excuse me. Challenge through. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Now this guy will come and get him out of the ambulance. I'm not sure which side will come out. Not this side. Alright, sir, you take good care of him for me, alright? Alright. So there is there you go guys. There are multiple different call outs with this pack. Anywhere from burned people to a civilian shot, like you just saw. So guys, that is gonna be a wrap for this episode. If you guys do enjoy